Hi everyone. So this is a quick tutorial on edible portion and as purchase calculations for the RD exam. So the way that I remembered the calculations, sorry. So you're good if you want to know the weight or quantity, you'll have the EP on the top, as purchased on the left, and then percentage yield. For cost, you'll have the as purchased on top. And I put a little dollar sign. You'll have edible portion on the left and then your percent yield. And that's a multiplication sign. And then that's a division. So to determine your edible portion weight or quantity, See, it's already set up for you, so you know what to do. So you'll multiply your as purchased by your percent yield. So as purchased, multiply percent yield. To determine your as purchase weight, see, it's already set up for you. So you'll actually divide your edible portion divided by your percent yield. Now determine your yield. You'll do another division. Edible portion over as purchased. Now let's move on to your cost. So to determine your edible portion cost, You'll do some division. You'll do your as purchased over your percent yield. Now to determine your AP cost. So you're going to do some multiplication. EP multiply percent yield. Now to determine your yield, you'll do some division, your as purchased over your edible portion. Now that was really helpful for me in the RD exam because there was just so much stuff to remember. Um, but you can memorize these equations too. This is worth noting. It's completely opposite. So if you want to determine your edible portion weight, so that's AP multiply by percent yield, it's going to be completely opposite on EP cost. As you can see, your AP will be dividing by percent yield. And the same goes for as purchase weight to the AP cost. Um, so let's go on to a question. Okay, the question, sorry. Okay, question. Purchase a 20 pound chicken and you trim two pounds fat leaving 18 pounds edible portion. What is percent yield? So first, when you look at these questions, I like to dissect them. So what is the question asking for? What is the percent yield? Um, your 20 pounds of chicken, that's going to be your as purchased. So they trim two pounds of fat, leaving 18 pounds. It probably won't have edible portion or as purchased. So just know that and don't find that confusing. Just look at the question, 18 pounds left over. That's going to be your edible portion. The two pounds fat, you just eliminate that. You don't need that information. Okay. What else is am I looking at? It's saying pounds, quantity. 
Okay, so just remember your edible portion, weight, or quantity as purchased, and then your percent yield. Okay, so what is your percent yield? We're going to be doing some division. So that's your edible portion over as purchased equals percent yield. So let's just fill in the blank. Your edible portion is 18 pounds. And then you're going to divide that by your as purchased, your 20 pounds. And what yield are you going to get? You're going to get 90 or 90% 90 EP percent yield. Here's another question. Um, you paid $35 for 20 pounds as purchased or you paid 20 pounds of the chicken what is AP cost per pound so whenever you get a question that says what is something per something you're going to be doing division Okay, so this question already gave you all the information that you need. So this is your AP, your 20 pound of chicken. And this is going to be the cost. So let's just fill in the equation. If we're going to do AP cost per, count, per pound, this, this is going to be your cost. And then by the weight, that's 20 pounds. And you'll get AP cost per pound. Okay. Now let's move on to a next question related to the same What if we do EP cost per pound? Now we did AP cost per pound earlier. So your EP cost. So just remember this equation. If we're doing cost, AP is going to be on top. EP is going to be on the side. And then your percent yield. So we already got that information earlier on your AP cost, so that would be 1, 1.75 AP. And then our percent yield, EP percent yield. And our EP, EP we don't know. So we're going to figure that out. So, EP cost divided by 90% EP yield. And that will get $1.94 EP cost. Now, what if the question asks, what is the EP cost per ounce? Now, we know this. One pound equals 16 ounces. Okay. So, if we know the EP cost, which is $1.94 EP cost, We'll want to divide by 16 ounces. Let me underline that. And then you'll get 0 0.121 or 
like 12 cents EP cost per ounce. And that's it. Hopefully that's helpful for you guys and hope you do well on the exam.